Hello and welcome to nucleotide biosynthesis. Let's see purine biosynthesis today. Purines, the nucleotides are adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine and uracil which are divided into purines and pyrimidines. Purines are adenine and guanine. Today we are going to deal with the purine biosynthesis. The purine biosynthesis, it uh, is uh, a, can be done in two pathways. One is the de novo synthesis. Another pathway is salvage pathway. The de novo, in the de novo synthesis, purine ring is synthesized from small molecules, all new molecules. Whereas the salvage pathway, it is nothing but that it is synthesized from the degraded nucleotides recycling recycling of the purines is done in the salvage pathway coming to the de novo synthesis here it refers to the synthesis of complex molecule from simple sugars such as sugars and amino acids that means the purine ring is derived from amino acids as well as some other sugars like ribose sugar and few one or few atoms which are attached to the ribose ring and it is not synthesized from the free bases. It is synthesized from the free bases in the salvage pathway whereas in de novo pathway all these adenine and guanine they are synthesized from small molecules and they are not synthesized from the recycled products whatever the digest digested nucleotides they are also converted into waste molecule degraded into uric acid but not utilized here let's see this is the skeleton of the purine ring which has nine atoms among them this four five seven molecules are donated by glycine eighth one is donated by formate and this third and ninth nitrogens they are donated by the glutamine amino acid and this first nitrogen is donated by aspartate uh, i mean uh, aspargine molecule and this carbon c2 and eight they are given by format this sixth position carbon is given by the carbon dioxide respiratory carbon dioxide and this pathway uh, which one the salvage pathway as well as the de novo pathway they begins with the phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate at the fifth position the phosphate group is attached first position is occupied by pyrophosphate it is 5 phosphoribosyl 1 pyrophosphate this is the basic structure on which the salvage pathway and de novo pathway are dependent this is the entire pathway of the purine biosynthesis it results in the formation of inosin monophosphate from the inosin monophosphate the nucleotides atp and amp and gmp are constructed in just one or two steps let us see this is comprised of only 10 steps and the first one this is the preliminary step the basic step here alpha d ribose 5 phosphate it is converted alpha d ribose 5 phosphate it is converted to prpp which is nothing but the zero step or the preliminary step both for the de novo and salvage pathway here this is in the alpha and it is also in the alpha prpp and atp molecule is converted into amp donating its two phosphates to be attached to the first carbon PRPP is synthesized by phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate synthase. From the PRPP in the first step, the, now we are starting the first step. PRPP is converted into 5 phospho beta D ribosyl amine. Here only the amino group is added. That amino group, here this is the amino group which is donated by the glutamine. The amino group donor glutamine it is converted into glutamate here the pyrophosphate this pyrophosphate these two phosphates are released in the form of pyrophosphate this pyrophosphate it drives the molecule to be converted from alpha to beta by utilizing the energy 
Later on, this 5 phosphobeta ribosylamide is converted into glycinamide ribosyl 5 phosphate. Here, glycine molecule NH2CH2 COO minus is nothing but glycine. It these three molecules are added. Glycine donates three atoms as we have seen. These three atoms are added to the nitrogen amino group of on the ribose 5 phosphate thereby it forms glycinamide ribosyl 5 phosphate very simple glycinamide ribosyl 5 phosphate this glycinamide ribosyl 5 phosphate it is later converted into formyl glycinamide that means the formyl group group formyl this is the formyl group formyl group is added to the glycine thereby forming formyl glycinamide formyl glycinamide later it is converted into formyl glycinamidine glycinamidine means to the glycine here this amino group is added that is why it is called as formyl glycinamidine ribosyl 5 phosphate we will see the enzymes later here this amide group is donated by glutamine where it is converted into glutamic acid after this one this formyl glycinamidine is converted into amino imidazole by the ring closure the ring is closed between the 8th and 9th position resulting in the formation of imidazole ring to which the amino group is attached that is why it is called as amino imidazole ribosyl 5 phosphate this amino imidazole ribosyl 5 phosphate is converted into amino imidazole carboxylate that means carboxylate group is added where it is added it is added at this one at this carbon the carboxyl group is the carboxyl group donor is nothing but carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide is added to the fifth position here this is the carbon dioxide resulting in the formation of amino imidazole carboxylate they later on it is converted into amino imidazole succinyl carboxamide succinyl carboxamide it is carboxylate here and converted into carboxamide so it is COO here it is converted into CONH that is why carboxamide this nitrogen NH group donor is nothing but aspartate this amino group is attached to the carboxyl group here converting Car converting it to carboxamide later this one amino imidazole succinyl carboxamide ribosylam ribonucleotide is converted into amino imidazole carboxamide ribosyl 5 phosphate amino imidazole the formic acid i mean sorry fumarate it is broken down from this one it is cleaved the aspartate is broken down at this position forming fumarate the amino group is attached forming amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide this one to this one uh, the formate group is added to this nitrogen in the next step formate group is added to this nitrogen so to the nitrogen formate group has added the donor is a uh, formyl tetrahydrofolate forming formimidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide form imidazole formate imidazole group later on in the last step it is converted into inosin monophosphate the where the ring is closed between this nitrogen and this carbon resulting in the formation of inosin monophosphate the inosin monophosphate is the basic one basic uh, step where it is utilized both for the synthesis of uh, uh, the adenine as well as amp as well as gmp imp is the basic compound from which amp and gmp are formed in all the all the reactions only 10 reactions are there this is nothing but the zero reaction synthesis of pyrophosphate and among them this is the first step is nothing but the rate limiting step where the synthesis depends on this uh, reaction whether the nucleotides or it has to be synthesized or not depending on the availability of the uh, PRPP molecules and the conversion of PRPP to phospho beta D ribosylamine is the rate limiting step usually it is inhibited by AMP and GMP means 
Y means when AMP and GMP are abundant, they inhibit the first reaction. When AMP and GMP are abundant, they inhibit this particular enzyme. Thereby, the products are not synthesized. That means inosin monophosphate is not synthesized because there are abundant AMP and GMP molecule. And azacirin is a glutamine ant antagonist which acts as an anti-cancer drug which inhibits the reactions involving glutamine the glutamine here the glutamine is involved and another uh, stage here also the glutamine is involved these two stages are inhibited by azacirin which is used in the cancer therapy this is nothing but the simplified uh, steps of the uh, purine biosynthesis, de novo biosynthesis, ribose 5-phosphate is converted to phosphoribosyl PRPP, the enzyme is PRPP synthase, here you can see the enzymes, PRPP is converted into phosphoribosylamine, the enzyme is PRPP glutamyl aminotransferase. Phosphoribosylamine is converted to glycinamide ribosyl 5-phosphate. Just amide group is at glycine is added here. And this enzyme is GAR synthetase, glycinamino ribosyl ribonucleotide synthetase. Glycinamidin ribosyl 5-phosphate is converted into formyl glycinamide ribosyl 5-phosphate. And the enzyme is formyl glycinamido amino ribosyl amino transferase enzyme it is converted into formyl glycinamide ribosyl 5 phosphate the same is repeated here which is converted to amino imidazole ribonucleotide you can uh, pause this and you can see the reactions carefully then you can observe very well as the time is uh, approaching i am going faster but you can stay at, on this slide and you can observe carefully amino imidazole carboxylate ribonucleotide is converted to amino imidazole succinyl so succinate group is uh, added here it is donated by the aspartate for the sake of amino group and this is converted to amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide which uh, uh, uses the fumarate molecule is released after this it is converted to this molecule after adding formyl group it is converted to form amino imidazole carboxamide ribonucleotide which is later converted in the last step cycle is closed ring is closed forming inosin monophosphate and inosin monophosphate is the basic molecule as i told you it is used for the synthesis of both amp amp as well as gmp here inosin monophosphate simply it is converted to adenylosuccinate where the molecule is donated by aspartate C CH2 COO CHNH3 COO minus where the amino group here it is donated to the inosin monophosphate forming adenylosuccinate the molecule is still attached when it is when the fumaric acid is released the amino group is attached resulting in the formation of adenosine monophosphate amp so amp is synthesized from the inosin monophosphate by the enzyme adenylosuccinate synthase enzyme and here the inosin monophosphate in the next pathway it is converted into gmp guanosin monophosphate in the two steps two step process inosin monophosphate is first oxidized to xanthosin monophosphate whereas the nad is reduced the enzyme is imp dehydrogenase inosin monophosphate dehydrogenase the IMP is oxidized to xanthosin. The oxidized xanthosin, here you can see the oxidized xanthosin, it is uh, converted to guanosin monophosphate by the transfer of amino group from glutamine to the xanthin monophosphate forming the guanosin monophosphate. The glutamine is converted to glutamate with the help of the enzyme transaminidase enzyme. So, this process of purine biosynthesis results in the formation of the main compound IMP inosin monophosphate from which adenosin monophosphate and guanosin monophosphate are synthesized. These two are the purine nucleotides. The 
adenosine monophosphates are converted into diphosphates and triphosphates. Nucleotide monophosphate is converted into nucleotide diphosphate by phosphoribosyl kinase as, uh, as well as it is converted into triphosphate by the monophosphate kinase and diphosphate kinase. And uh, let us sum up this one. The stages this is the basic uh, reaction which you have to understand. When you understand this, you can remember very well the purine biosynthesis.